Hey guys, um, so I didn't do a live reaction because I was actually at the premiere at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Um, I didn't have a ticket, but I went dressed as Michonne anyway and uh, scoped it out a bit and was able to find a way, was able to find a ticket while I was there. Um, so that was definitely an experience. Um, I ended up sitting by myself, I mean I was obviously surrounded by people, I was ended up sitting by myself and just as the back came down the first time on Abraham, that's when it started to rain. It was really weird. Um, in the cemetery, watching this horrific scene and it starts raining. Um, honestly, if I had done a live reaction, it probably would have been very boring because I was basically sitting there like this the whole time. I didn't make a noise. I didn't uh, make any sounds. I just watched. Uh, it was riveted. Um, what was more heartbreaking for me wasn't the deaths themselves, was one, Abraham's to Sasha right before it happened. <sighs> Glenn's broken up, disjointed voice written, um, I'll always find you, was, like I'm tearing up now just thinking about it. And then Rick's distress and hurt at um, having to chop Carl's hand off. Um, it's horrifying. It, it was. Um, those are more horrifying to me than, than the deaths. So the deaths were, were gruesome. And I know some people are complaining, but the fact is that's, you know, that's all I've been hearing is that this is what the audience wants. They want something really horrible, which is a bit bizarre, you know, having... I mean, we've seen a lot of awful things on the show, but when it's two fan favorites, like, I love Abraham, and, and Glenn was, you know, the heart the heart of the show. I, 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 you, can't, you can't replace those guys, you know? Um, I thought that Rick's fantasy, I would have preferred to have seen a flashback that we hadn't seen before, like an actual family dinner or an actual, like a game night or, you know, when Aaron, when we first meet Aaron, he mentions uh, the dance troupe and you know, it's only on Fridays or, or whatever it was he said. I think it would have been nicer to have seen that moment, or at least in juxtaposition, a moment of what what was, and then Rick's fantasy of what could have been uh, gone. Um, but as far as, I thought it was interesting in Rick's fantasy, one, Michonne's state of dress. Obviously she's to his right. His, his true right hand is Michonne. But we've known that since season five, she's been co-leader. So that's nothing new. But to his left, his immediate left, is Father Gabriel. But what's most interesting about Father Gabriel so he was still wearing his priest collar, right? So I feel like um, I'll get to my predictions for the season in a minute. And then, of course, we have the others. Um, the, he's included Enid. So I don't like her constant habitual cry face. I don't like it. But anyway, Enid, um, Spencer, who was not unexpected because of his... I think it's more his connection to Deanna and being Deanna's son than actually Spencer himself. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. Um, and then we also had Aaron. It's obvious. Aaron is definitely part of the family. And then all of the rest. Uh, what was also interesting was that Rick and Michonne were mirroring the seating positions of Glenn and Maggie. So. Um, I'll go ahead and jump into predictions. I definitely think a proposal is on the way. Maybe uh, a pregnancy scare or at the end of the season, maybe some type of pregnancy. Um, chopping off of hands. I definitely think that at some point Negan is going to lose his hand. When they finally are, I know they're going to catch him. It's just a matter of when. Probably if it happens this season, it won't be until the very end or the beginning of next season. Um, I think Michonne's going to chop off his hand before he ends up in, Mor in the jail that Morgan built. Mer uh, Morgan and Carol are going to happen, for sure. Um, I just don't, I don't see how that, I just, all signs point to it. 
Um, I believe Jesus is going to go on a rescue mission for Daryl. Uh, it just feels like that's going to happen. Um, and then I also wanted to discuss... Um, okay, so back in season one, we see Meryl, uh, Merle's um, drug bag, and it had some of Walt's crystal blue meth in it. So what's the connection? I think that Walt's ricin, something happened with Walt's ricin, and when he gave it to Lydia, I believe Lydia is patient zero. Uh, Lydia, the international traveler, just, she was always on planes going back and forth over you know different countries and I think she made it airborne like everyone's infected right I think that it started that I think that's how it started um, that's just my own personal fan wink and then some other notes um, Michonne's intervention was a great moment I wasn't surprised by it I mean that's that's for all intents and purposes that's her son and and, and now and, and not only that she didn't want Carl hurt she didn't want Rick to have that on him. I mean, it really wasn't a choice at all when, when you think about it. Negan stopped it, sure, but I mean, it's either chop off his hand or I'm going to kill everyone, including Carl, but with a bat. What kind of? That's not really a choice. Um, uh, I'll, if Andy doesn't get nominated for an Emmy, I swear to God, like that—that—that that, that was so horrible and ugly, but that pain he was going through and then the snot and, the, and he was just so it was just an amazing moment just amazing um, probably his best moment so far um, next to that instance in season one when he finally makes it when he leaves the hospital and makes it to his to his home and, and no one's there that was gut-wrenching too also, it'd be interesting to see someone cosplay Rick Grimes when he's like hospital gown, Rick Grimes. I don't know, I just, I haven't seen that yet. I'm, I'm very curious. Uh, also, another side note, I, I met an awesome Rick Grimes at the, uh, at the premiere. Like, he really had like Andy face. It was really cool. Um, th that savior taking a pic of Glenn's body. So we're going to see that picture at some point. Um, it's going to be someone's motivation to do something, I'm sure. And then also one of the saviors was a woman. I thought that was interesting. We didn't actually see any women when they would do the pan around, but I definitely saw a woman, um, someone with boobs, walking past the screen, walking past Rick at one point. So um, I, anxiously, I anxiously await the next episode. It's probably going to be just focused on the Carolyn Morgan at the Kingdom, maybe some Heath and Tara. Um, we probably won't see Team Family until episodes three or four, so that's that's gonna suck a bit. But you know, I'm, I know the comic book fans are really excited about the Kingdom, but I really want to see how Rick and the others get home. Like I don't, that's a cliffhanger in itself. I anyway, it was an emotional scene. I rewatched the second half. I haven't been able to bring myself to rewatch the first half, um, and also. Uh, that, that Talking Dead fan, like, are they going to do another competition? Like, how does that work? Um, I just really want to be on that couch. I really want to be sitting across from hard work one day. Anyway, that's all the thoughts that I have. Sorry for the delay. I really had to let this digest before I could really say any real thoughts on it. So, um, But Sunday will be a live reaction, and uh, I'll see you guys then.